the MCU Fantastic Four movie may be setting up all the pieces to bring in Doctor Doom and Mephisto. Julia Garner is reportedly set to play the Silver Surfer in the MCU Fantastic Four reboot movie, but not the classic Silver Surfer, Norrin Rad. Instead, it seems she'll be playing a version of the Silver Surfer who is actually Shala Bal, the lover of Norrin Rad and the ruler of his home planet, Zinla. But what does that mean for Silver Surfer as a character, and the Fantastic Four movie as a whole? How might the change from Norrin Rad to Shala Bal affect the movie's story? And will the fact that Shala Bal has a strange past with Doctor Doom as well as the demonic Mephisto come into play? We'll dig into Shala Bal's comic book history to offer some insight into who she is, what her place in the Marvel Universe has traditionally been, and how that could potentially impact the MCU, as well as her own time as the Silver Surfer in comics. Shala Bal's comic book story is inextricably tied to that of Norrin Rad, the classic Silver Surfer. As told in 1968 Silver Surfer 1 by Stan Lee and John Buscema, where Shala Bal first appears, both she and Norrin were residents of the planet Zinla. But their world is shaken, literally, when the planet-eating cosmic being known as Galactus appears over Zinla with plans to consume it as his next meal. With few options and no weapons capable of deterring Galactus, Norrin makes a heroic sacrifice, offering to serve Galactus as his herald, seeking out suitable worlds for him to devour as long as Zinla, and Shala Bal, were spared. Agreeing, Galactus imbues Norrin with the so-called Power Cosmic and turns him into the Silver Surfer. Norrin leaves Zinla, and Shala Bal, never to return, or so he believes, eventually leading Galactus to Earth. There, the Surfer defies Galactus and is trapped on Earth as a result. The rest, as they say, is Marvel Universe history. However, there's another side to the story, which is less known, the fate of Shala Bal. It's important to know that Norrin Rad and Shala Bal's love, though seemingly devoted, was often fraught, and one-sided, with Norrin frequently withholding his affection and acting cold and distant. This distance comes to a head in Norrin's last moments on Zinla, as Shala Bal actually begs Norrin to take her with him when he leaves, but Norrin refuses, leaving her behind. But Shala Bal wouldn't stay on Zinla for long. Thanks to the machinations of the devilish Mephisto, who was by then an arch enemy to the Silver Surfer, Shala Bal wound up trapped on Earth in the guise of a human woman named Helena, a Latvarian subject of Doctor Doom, who became Doom's unwitting bride for several years. If that sounds as upsetting as it is complicated, we're not even getting into the half of it, including multiple kidnappings by Mephisto, the death and rebirth of Zinla at least twice, and more meaning that when you get into the nuts and bolts of it all, Shala Bal has an incredibly complex history for a character who has mostly been an unwitting pawn for the better part of her nearly 60-year existence. All of this ultimately culminates in the reunion of Norrin Rad and Shala Bal back on Zinla, but only in time for Galactus to return to devour the planet, considering Silver Sifa's betrayal and his escape from exile on Earth to have broken the deal they made that originally spared Zinla to begin with. Galactus uncharacteristically warns the planet's inhabitants to flee, allowing the people to survive though their planet dies. Hope is not entirely lost, however, as Silver Surfer shares his vaunted but mysterious power cosmic with Shala Bal, allowing them to recreate Zinla. Shala Bal is named the reborn planet's empress, further complicating her already fraught life with conflicts with the Kree Empire, more manipulation from outside forces, and even her own death and resurrection as she becomes embroiled in the affairs of all-powerful cosmic beings. In her most recent appearance, Shala Bal became the keeper of great truth of Zinla, turning her planet's peaceful, idyllic monoculture into an imperial force of galactic conquest using a device known as the Illuminatrix, which even allowed her to rewrite Van Grimm's mind, turning the thing into her own personal herald. Though Shala Bal's attempts at conquest were thwarted by the Silver Surfer, she retaliated by expelling him permanently from Zinla and revoking his place among their people. So when exactly did Shala Bal become the Silver Surfer herself in comic books? Well, it didn't actually happen in the mainstream Marvel Universe. 
as is often the case with the MCU, they're taking inspiration not just from the Core Earth 616 version of Shalabi Al and the Silver Surfer, but from one of her multiverse variants as well. Shalabi Al became the Silver Surfer, or more accurately, a Silver Surfer, in the 1999 alt-reality comic Earth X by writer Jim Kroeger, co-creator and designer Alex Ross, and interior artist John Paul Leon, which is about heroes finding the first rays of hope in an increasingly dystopian future. In that story, the original Galactus dies and is replaced by Franklin Richards, who uses his cosmic abilities to ascend into the form of Galactus. As the new Galactus, he reunites Norin Rad and Shalabi Al by imbuing her with the same power cosmic that transformed Norin Rad into the Silver Surfer, with the pair sharing a cosmic surfboard as the two sentinels of the spaceways. As for how Shalabi Al will fit into the MCU as the Silver Surfer, there's already speculation that the MCU Fantastic Four reboot will take place in an alt-reality outside the core Marvel Cinematic Universe, which may account for why she's different from the mainstream comic versions of both the Silver Surfer and Shalabi Al herself. Marvel has also pointed to the original Galactus story, told in 1960 SIXS Fantastic Four 48-50, as a main point of inspiration for the film, likely indicating that Julia Garner's Shalabi Al Silver Surfer will play a similar role in the film that the Norin Rad version of the character does in that landmark comic story. Still, Marvel Studios loves its connections and story links, and Shalabi Al offers potential inroads to both the much-anticipated Doctor Doom, and the demonic Mephisto, who has been expected to join the MCU himself for some time himself. Fantastic Four releases in July 2025.